This foldable is for section 3.2, 3.3. Uh, slope and for section 3.4 equations of lines we're going to start by folding this this way towards the middle crease and what it says is when you are given slope in an ordered pair you substitute in the values of slope and of your x and your y. So I'm gonna make sure that it gets to the x value from the order pair on x, y. To solve for b and write your equation. So what we're looking for is that the equation y is equal to mx plus b is used every time that we write it. We won't write it every time, but we will refer it to each time. This is an x value and this is a y value. That means that for y, we're going to write 1 is equal to, and then m is 4 times x is 3 for this case, and then we're looking for b. I'm going to draw the line. 1 is equal to 12 plus b. Subtract 12 to both sides. Negative 11 is equal to b. With those two pieces of information, now we can write the equation in slope-intercept form, which would be y is equal to 4x. And then this time, since it's a negative 11, we write minus 11. That is your answer. For the next one right here, we have, um, this is your x, this is your y, so 1 is equal to m times x, and then plus b. 1 is equal to 0 plus b. We don't really need to write the 0, so we know that 1 is equal to b. With those two pieces of information, now we have the equation of the line, y is equal to 3x plus 1. I want to remind you, though, that when the x value is 0, the y value is the y-intercept. Why is that important? Well, we actually didn't need a solve for b. They gave us b. It will always be the value of y when x is 0. On 2, this is our x, this is our y. So we start with y is equal to m negative 2 times the x. And then we're solving for b. And it's negative 2, 5 is equal to plus b. We add 2 to both sides. 7 is equal to b. And once again, with that information, we have y is equal to negative 2x plus 7 this time since um, rb was positive. This is x, this is y. y is equal to m x plus b and then we're going to add 2 to both sides 4 is equal to b and then our equation is y is equal to negative 1 x plus 4 well on here though when we have a negative 1 we actually don't need to write it so y is equal to negative x plus 4 is the final answer For this one, x, y, y is equal to m, x, plus b. Um, 1 times negative 2 is negative 2, plus b is still equal to 7. Add 2 to both sides to solve for b. 9 is equal to b. And then our equation is y is equal to 1x plus 9. Similar to this one, because there's a 1 in front of it, we don't need to write it. So we got y is equal to 
x plus 9 is your final answer. And the next one, this is x and this is y. Negative 3 is equal to 0 times 4 plus b. Negative 3 is equal to 0 plus b. And so we don't need the 0 there. That's negative 3 is equal to b. And those pieces of information, y is equal to 0x minus 3. And that 0x is anything multiplied by 0, 0, so that it doesn't have any bearings on our equation, which means our equation will be 3 is equal to negative 3. On this side, what we need to remember is the equation of slope. So we're going to fold it over halfway. It says when you're given two order pairs, step one is to calculate the slope. That is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And then take the slope of either, take the slope with either pair. But what I always do is the first pair, first order pair. which is x1, y1. To solve for b and to write your equation. So I'll show you what I do. Uh, so slope is the difference of the y value. So we start with these two. 1 minus negative 4 divided by 3 minus negative 2. 1 minus negative 4 is 5. 3 minus, oh, it's not a negative 2, sorry, it's a positive 2. Gives you 1. That means 5 is your slope. Once you have your slope, it's similar to this process. I'm going to use this x and this y. That's why I mentioned that I used a first ordered pair. And so for here, it's negative 4 is equal to m. 5 times x, 2, and then plus b. Negative 4 is equal to 10 plus b. We'll subtract 10 to both sides. Negative 14 is equal to b. We needed those pieces of information to write our equation. y is equal to 5x minus 14 since it was negative. So let's do slope first. We do 5 minus negative 1 divided by 1 minus negative 1. 5 minus negative 1 is 6. 1 minus negative 1 is 2. And that's equal to 3. And here we're going to solve for x with this one, which gives you negative 1 is equal to the slope 3 times negative 1 because of this one plus b. Negative 1 is equal to negative 3 plus b. Add 3 to both sides. 2 is equal to b. And then with those two pieces of information, we have that the equation is y is equal to 3x plus 2. And then slope again. 7 minus negative 3, then negative 1 minus 4. 7 minus negative 3 is a 10. Negative 1 minus 4 is a negative 5. That simplifies to a negative 2. Then we plug it in. This is our x, this is our y. Our y is equal to m x plus b. And our 1 is 3 is equal to negative 8 plus b. Add 8 to both sides. 5 is equal to b. And then with those pieces of information, you have the equation is y is equal to negative 2x plus 5.